Hello everyone. So uh, today uh, I will introduce the new very cool tool in HyperMesh. In the new HyperMesh is a Design Explorer. It's a quite complete a workflow from beginning to end. Very easy to use to run uh, optimization and uh, design experiment. Uh, it's a very convenient for you guys to set up execution and interpretation. Yeah, so I mean, uh, I will not talk uh, much about this. I will show in the software directly. Yeah. So here is the user. Is you can go to the design uh, explorer here. If you cannot find it. You go to report and choose the design explorer here. So from here you can see we create the exploration, uh, create the variable, uh, make the respawn and create the goal and constraint and run and see the result. So to illustrate for uh, this tool, I will show you based on the example. Uh, here is a sip hand wooden. Uh, the pink color, yeah, the ticket is nine, 19 and the rib is 13. So it's a sip hand. Uh, we just uh, take a uh, a part of water to uh, illustrate for the, in the example. So it's a material that HSLA steel, which are uh, young is is um, two hundred and forty thousand MPa. The row here and the thickness here. So I uh, we assume that the pressure is applied for the this this hub three megapascal. It's approximately uh, with the pressure at the depth of the. 300 mit meters. So we run, uh, we already run the linear static for this. So here we can see the displacement maximum is a 3.2 millimeters and the stress is uh, 340 uh, MPa. So this is okay, right? So uh, uh, we given that the yield strength of the HSLA steel is a 360 MPa. So the question here is, uh, do you think that the structure is survive the die to the depth of 300 meters? So I think it is okay. But this this design is not optimized. Maybe the weight, uh, the weight is uh, very heavy. So we need to run. Firstly, we need to run the DOE to check the thickness of the hand and or thickness of rib is affect to this value, the stress value, high stress value. And then we run the optimization to achieve the model. Uh, so, and that does not uh, exceed the yield strength. So how to do in the software? So here is we already set up the linear static and run the result successfully, no problem. But here now we go to the design exploration, design explorer tab, you click on the the plus icon to create and you click here to create there are two options the DOE and optimization so first step we need to run the DOE to check to check that is uh, the thickness of the rib and thickness of heart which one is uh, affected to the stretch result and the mass okay so yeah so we can now click on the exploration here and you already see here the DOE one. So next step, we create a design variable, right? So how to create a design variable? You can click here, and then you select this property, okay? And then you can change here the the there are few ways. Is a boundings ten percent uh, upper and ten percent lower. But we use a continuous value, but you can use a discrete value as well. So I choose Han and make discrete here, so I can click here. So you can choose here, uh, step side here, so maybe you can choose look like the uh, 15, and this is uh, 25, okay? Step size 0.5. After you see here this value here already from 15.05, 0 
but you see here the red color here it means that's a nominal value not yet in the list so you just click here click here and insert the row okay so you see you have a 19 here okay and then it becomes the normal color the black color okay finish and then you create and then you see the design variable here so next step you can click on the rip and the same uh, rip 13 maybe you can choose is the right uh, 10 and 16 or 17 whatever 16 for example you, you rain yes 0 0.5 okay same you don't see the the 13 value line it is only in such value here okay, 13 okay and create so now we have here in case you want to change this value later you can change it but i suggest you come here and then you can see this value you can change whatever you want you can change here Okay. Uh, okay, it's a discrete value. Uh, so next, I create a response. Okay, response. I choose a uh, mass. So if I don't select any property, it means that it's like all of this. Or you can select the material, whatever. But I select the property here. I click here. Okay, so I already have a mass here, and I escape. Okay, so now we have a response, a mass, the total mass of this. The next step is stretch. So you can choose a property or element, you can select all the elements here and then you choose, or you can click here to choose uh, load case here, you choose linear static, yeah, wound mice maximum, uh, wound mice says, okay. So already have uh, two constraints, stress and mass, and now we can run the, the the DOE okay now I'm going to objective just run the DOE because it's run DOE so yeah you can choose uh, maybe a lot of full mixture or mess whatever <coughs> uh, multiple execution maybe I choose uh, 8 running okay every time I run 8 okay so I choose I run or I can choose uh, mess yeah number of run the execution yeah, whatever, or you run the Latin Q, but what I choose is full factory. Choose it here. And I run. You see that already exists? You can see yes. And we wait for a couple of minutes to finish the running. Okay, so now already finished running. I just close this uh, evaluation sticker. Click here. Yeah, we show you the result explorer how the value is run. Uh, linear effect is the most important tab. When you click here, you see. So based on this uh, information, we understand that the uh, arm thickness is uh, effect more to the the mass than the shell. And the rib shell same. You can check with stretch. Here, yeah, so the arm cell also perfect to do that, yeah. So the the minor, it means just uh, when you more thick it, the stress will become lesser. And the positive value, it means that uh, when you increase this uh, thickness, they can increase the stress, okay. Same here, so yeah, so it means that uh, when you increase the thickness, they can increase the mass, same, right. So based on the information, we know that we need to change uh, the thickness is more important than the change the rib shell. Okay, so next step, we can close this guy. We create the exploration, but this time we create the optimization. Okay, optimization. Click here and just go there. And you can turn on this guy and then we need to create again. And you create the objective here. Uh, so we choose a response, uh, it's a um, mass, okay, so I want to minimize the mass, okay, so we already have uh, minimize the mass here, uh, the objective, okay, and now we make a constraint, right, so we want to constrain this guy, so I choose stress, constrain this guy should be less than uh, 360 megapascal, okay, then 
Okay, so that's all. And then we run uh, the optimization. We click here to run. Maybe you can choose a hit running and more call if you want to hit more call and T2. Okay, up to you. Yeah. So we run here to run the optimization. Okay, the current are running its optimization. So let's run. So they wait for a couple of minutes. They will run. Okay. So the 50 run, they can run. So yeah, wait for a couple of minutes and then we see the result. Okay, so after take a couple of times, you already finished running. So next step, click here to see you know, result here. So red color says a uh, conflict with the constraints. We choose here, you see. The red color is uh, it has a constraint not certified more than 360 megapascal. And you see the green color here. So you can see that this is a conversion value. You can click on the duration or iteration port. You can see stress how they conversion. Okay, so how the mass conversion? Yeah. Much easy and uh, this conversion. So finally, we check the rip should be 10 uh, millimeters and the shell should be uh, around 18. Okay, so this is the final result. We got it from the um, optimization. Okay, so that's very quickly show you this video. Very quickly show you how to set up the design exploration and uh, uh, get a result okay so thank you very much for watching